Adam Chris from MyMMANews.com being joined by my man Bazooka Joe Strickland ahead of his Lion 58 fight against Mirza Hopovich. And he has a tough opposition ahead of him, but it wasn't his original opposition. He was supposed to face Cody East in a rematch that uh, a lot of people had favoring Joe. Unfortunately, he suffered a uh, decision loss. I personally had him winning, but you know what? It is what it is. Judges go the way they go. Joe, I appreciate your time. Yeah, man, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Appreciate so, it. what happened with the uh, Cody East fight as far as you were supposed to have the rematch, and then what happened? Fill me uh, in. All I got was an email one night. I said, hey, Cody's hurt. He's out. We have a couple guys for you. I said, I'll fight anybody. Yeah. They actually offered me his brother. Really? Tyler East. Yeah. And uh, I guess sometimes with that, so he said, no, nah, it's not going to happen. So, we got uh, Mr. Hopovich from Bosnia. He trains in Canada now mm -hmm. in a really, really good gym. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Lynn. Edinger, she mm -hmm. actually fought uh, his teammate Taylor mm -hmm. Makachi or whatever I say her name, but she, uh, they at least beat her, so we know their gym's legit. But Lisa's like Lisa's top level, yeah, and their gym's top level. So right. I'm excited for an opportunity to fight. He's also undefeated with two knockouts. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you a little <laughs> bit disappointed that you don't get to run that rematch back? To be honest with you, I said no to the rematch at first for Cody really? because I lost. Right. Um, and in the martial arts way, Muay Thai way, if you lose to somebody. That's why I'm sweating. If you lose to somebody, you... He's got um, done a hard workout. <laughs> uh, if you lose to somebody in uh, like Muay Thai, you don't automatically get a rematch. Right. You fight your way back up. Right. And that's how I wanted to do it. So at first, I really didn't want it. But then everybody was like, dude, you won the fight. And I was just like, you know what? If they want me to do it again, I'll take the fight. And even Cody asked for the rematch originally. I said, all right, cool, we'll take it. And then he ends up got hurt. So. so hopefully he gets heels better and we get another rematch sometime. Maybe for a title. So we move on to yeah exactly we move on to the Hopovich, Hopovich fight. So like you said, he comes out of a solid gym. What do you know about him other than he has two knockouts? I mean, as far as your style compares to his style, do you see anything where you can outshine his per se? Not giving your game plan, right? right but yeah, my uh, I feel like I'm a uh, I have a tricky style. I'm not very like I'm Muay Thai, very Muay Thai, but True. I throw a lot of like spin kicks from karate. Mm -hmm. Throw a car wheel kick every once in a while. That's <laughs> legal. Um, that was legal. Yeah, I actually throw uh, a lot of different things off of missed techniques. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're going to be ready for that as much as a lot of people are. Like in MMA guys, because mm -hmm. MMA guys throw those weird things or whatever. Yeah. But um, I think he's very good. And my coaches are the ones who do all my game planning. And they tell me, I right, need to work this this week and do this this week. And my coach here, he's one of my assistant coaches named Mikey BK Zelowski. He's one of the best pad holders. And he's been training for three years. I trained him how I like it, and he makes me work. As you saw when you walked in, how, how I, was, so. I was gonna say, other than Mikey, uh, I'm just so used to calling him Beefcake. You said Mikey, and I was <laughs> yeah. like, hold on. But uh, other than Beefcake, I mean, who do you have other as far as the bigger guys that you can get ready for sparring wise? I know you train uh, somewhat up in Philly sometimes, yeah. and yeah. so who do you have as far as getting ready to spar to get ready for the bigger guys? Well, I have a couple. Like a lot of my advanced guys who've been with me for about two, three years are big guys, like over 200 pounds, yeah. real tall. Uh, so those guys are really cool, like Kyle Gordon and. Uh, Jordan Chambers, they've been with me for over three years, so they know my style and know how to make me work. Uh, but I also go to Carrera Corner up at uh, Anorak uh, Muay Thai Gym. It's in, um, man, Hillsborough, New Jersey, so it's like a two hour drive. Oh, wow. He's only 160 pounds, but when he gets you in the clinch, it feels like he's 300. Right. So he makes me work. He's me and my crew. He taught me everything I know about Muay Thai. And then uh, I was training with Aaron Meisner at Royal Striking, but this camp actually has been tough because I just opened my own facility. Right, which is so, gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> thank you so much. So everything I have, uh, I'm kind of here. Yeah. I haven't really had time to go up there. Mm -hmm. But he also has guys fighting at WK this weekend, so I wish those guys the best of luck. And I'm not, I miss that guy, but I haven't been able to really get up there this time. But. So going into the match, how do you think your game plan beats his? How do you think the match will go down? Because like you said, he's strong. He's from Bosnia, comes to Canada. Do you think he's going to come forward for real, straight off the bat, or do you think he's going to... Maybe yeah. lean back, fill you out a little bit. Nah, I think I think he's more of a uh, we call it European style Muay Thai, mm -hmm. so they're very aggressive and they come forward like a Dutch fighter. Yeah, um, he has good elbows. I see him through some elbows, but um, I think if he gets pressured, he doesn't know how to fight going backwards. Mm -hmm. um, I did fight Cody, and they kind of exposed my game a little bit with my hands being open and down. Mm -hmm. um, we've really been working at this camp, having my hands up real high. Kind of old school boxing style, but my hands like ready to go. Right. Um, fighting Cody had my hands more open. I didn't really know what he was going to do, mm -hmm. and he's kept jabbing me. So it opened up a really bad uh, game for me because mm -hmm. I wasn't used to getting hit as much. Even in MMA, I didn't get right. hit that much. Yeah. Just I got. I mean, it didn't hurt, but it just looks bad. It looked like a Pez dispenser the whole time. <laughs> so. 
Speaking of uh, your MMA, I just want to touch on that briefly. Sure. Your MMA career, you've gone back and forth between Muay Thai, MMA, wherever you can get a fight. I mean, basically, you, you've never been one to say no to a challenge, Pretty ever. Much, yeah. I mean, are you looking to do I mean, any more MMA, or are you just tr solely focused on Muay Thai at the moment? Uh, I love Muay Thai. Uh, I would have only have done Muay Thai if there was Muay Thai for heavyweights when right. I first started. Yeah. Uh, when I started MMA, I only had one amateur fight, and I paid to fight. Um, and they made me turn pro after I beat a guy who was 8-0. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, MMA's the next big thing. But truthfully, when I found Muay Thai, I found love of striking. So right. I'm pretty, I'm okay at jujitsu, but I don't really train as much. Even for my last couple of MMA fights, I didn't train any jujitsu yeah. or any wrestling. And yeah. you can kind of see that, but mm -hmm. I was just ready to take a fight to get ready to fight. Like bare yeah. knuckle boxing, it was an opportunity for me to fight. I actually hurt my hand before that happened. Mm -hmm. I'll fight anybody. I don't care. Um, but I really, truly love Muay Thai and pro wrestling. If you don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the one that said it yourself. <laughs> but so, I mean, I can speak from your hometown because I'm from your hometown, right. Newark, Delaware. We're both born and raised. I guess you're born and raised in Newark, Delaware. Wilmington, but Wilmington, 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 Delaware, Delaware. So, exactly. So, what keeps you here in Delaware when, like you said, you've traveled to Jersey, you travel to Philly, you travel all over the place, but you keep staying in the sole pocket of Delaware? What, what's with that? Uh, I love Delaware. Uh, it's my home state. I always want to bring the best martial arts to Delaware as I possibly could. So when I was training Jiu-Jitsu, I went to the best Jiu-Jitsu school, which I thought was three or two percent Jiu-Jitsu with Earl Trouble Small and Jimmy Morrison and Bill Walters. These guys were there, and I thought that was the gym for me, and then I kind of brought my horizons and went away. But I want to keep Muay Thai uh, here in Delaware. I want to build a Muay Thai program in Delaware that no one can touch. There's other gyms trying to do Muay Thai, but I feel like we're the only authentic, traditional style one. When we travel to Maryland for fights, we travel to Virginia, and we, we're smoking people, and we're getting good fights against guys in top level, like opposition, and we're going against them. Like Beefcake just fought a guy with fifteen with twenty four fights, and that's his ninth fight. Right. We don't care because we're gonna build it here in Delaware. We want everybody from Delaware to come here, you know, for just more time. Yeah, so. I love it. I know I love it too, man. So if you gotta give your call in the park, your Bay Ruth, how are you gonna finish uh, your boy? Uh, I don't want to say. Mirza Hopovich, how you gonna do it, man? I don't want to say knockout because I feel like I'll, I can go five rounds, oh. uh, anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Um, truthfully, I just want I'm gonna get the win this time. It doesn't matter how I get the win. I'm gonna win. I would love a spare title knockout. I'm obviously fighting in front of Nathan Corbett, who's my favorite Muay Thai fighter ever. Right. Um, he's an elbow guy, so I would love to elbow somebody knock him out. I have a couple fights with elbow, elbow knockouts, mm -hmm. but man, I, I, I like to show good Muay Thai, man. It could be five rounds of just good, good solid Muay Thai. I'll be super happy with it. Come away with the win. Awesome, man. Yeah, well, for sure. from one Delaware native to the next, and obviously, man, we've gotten to know each other through the years, me being in the combat sports yeah. circle, you being in the combat sports circle. It was it was funny because we grew up around the same circles growing up and never yep. kind of never really crossed paths. Yeah. But now we do. It's a pleasure to know you. Yeah, it's you a so pleasure to see Chris. you in the ring, man. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck this Saturday, that. man. Thank you so much. And uh, make sure you guys come if you want to check it out. It's on CBS Sports Network. Uh, Saturday night, 8 o'clock. I'm the first fight on television. So don't miss it. And uh, come check us out at our facility at Chalky Athletics, 101 John Campbell Road in Newark, Delaware. My and man, uh, thanks that my MMA News for coming out today on a rainy Tuesday night. <laughs> my pleasure, man. CBS, check them out. MyMMANews.com. Joe Strickland, people. Yes, sir. Thank my you. Friend.